What's happening people? Welcome to another video with All Source and today we are looking at these two AirPods. We have the i2000s versus the i3000s. Some of you requested this video. I have done reviews on both of these AirPods so if you want to check them out make sure you check them out on my previous videos as I've done not just these but a lot more other AirPods uh, reviews. Anyways as always people make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when I upload any video you'll actually be notified and also follow me on one of these social medias as I always uh, post up the sneak peeks of upcoming videos on here on all sorts anyways let's take a look at what are the differences between the i2000s and the i3000s and uh, yeah let me know in the comment section below which one do you think is better or which one do you think you would purchase anyways let's get started people today we are looking at some more airpods now this is a comparison uh, first of all we'll take a look at the box and then we'll take a look at the airpods itself to see what difference they are between the i2000 and the i3000 so uh, not a lot of differences on the box the, the left is the i2000 the right is the i3000 you've got a picture of some airpods nothing around the box itself and uh, taking a look at the product specification on each of these um, there's not there's no difference i would say so the model is i2000 and model is i3000 on the left they both have the 1526 chip uh, they both well uh, the i3000 has the in-ear smart sensor you can use both of them left or right they both have wireless charging the maximum hours of play is three and a half to four hours and they both have spelling mistake and they both have voice siri control which means if you activate siri on your phone you can actually uh, boot up siri by saying hey siri on uh, the airpods as long as it's activated so that's the only differences between these box everything is the same including the pictures on the back and also whatever you get inside is, is whatever you get on both of these if you want to see uh, unboxing you can check out the separate reviews on both of these so people this is what we need to see now they both are super copies of the generation 2 uh, original wireless airpods as you can tell with the led on the outside of the case take a look at the bottom you've got a lightning connector port and uh, taking a look at the back uh, you have a button which is placed a little bit higher compared to the generation one now the differences between the uh, original or as you can see or as you've probably seen it already they have no text on these i2000 and the i3000 they do have a matte hinge but no text even on the airpod itself so that is the charging case for both of these make sure i don't get them mixed up so let's take a look at the left ear pod on both of these definitely make sure i don't get mixed up as i did with my previous video one of them anyway so here is the left air pod on both of these definitely identical i'm pretty sure the only differences between uh, these and the uh, other ones are the features so we'll get to that later on in the video so definitely identical on the airpods but we'll take a look if they both fit in each of those cases so uh, as the left one is the i2000 let's take these out and uh, we'll take the i3000 out so this is the i3000 case i'll just zoom out for you a bit there and we'll put the i200 i2000 in there and as you can see right there it's uh, the led was flashing and uh, i'm pretty pretty sure they actually work in the i3000 as you can see right there there's nothing changed I'm, they're pretty sure I'm pretty sure they're using the same chip so i'm pretty sure that they will work in the i2000 case so these are the uh, i3000 case with the i2000 airpod uh, same charging mechanism as well as some of them they actually just pop out so here we have the i2000 case let's put the i3000 in and they fit 
nice nicely in the case but we have a flashing light a little bit different compared to when we put the uh, i2000 airpods in the i3000 case so there we have it people they both fit nicely inside of each charging case everything is exactly the same from the magnet mechanism to the charging mechanism uh, but yeah they are the wireless charging case for both of these now the differences are i am going to say in this video is the connecting feature and also the audio and bass so let's get to that let's connect the i2000 first i'll show you how they connect and see what differences they are and then we'll go over to the i3000 and show you what differences they are between the i2s uh, and the i3000 right let's start off with the i2000 first now uh, as you may make sure you keep an eye on as there's a few minute differences when it comes to the connecting feature with the i2000 so let's pop up the case and hopefully you get a pop-up feature with the latest not your airpods uh, design so you connect them and press the back button which i'm doing right now and you'll get animation saying that they are connected so that is actually the same with the i3000. Now coming to the differences, um, when we actually uh, put the case down and pop them back up, it actually shows you uh, a three window battery percentages of the both of the AirPods and the charging case as well. Here it is now, you've got 100% on both of these uh, AirPods and 26% on the charging case. Let's take the AirPods out. And as you can see here, you've got no different animation on the i2000 so both of the earpods are in my ear and uh, the uh, pop-up feature has gone back down that indicates that they are connected to the phone and uh, they are out of the charging case and in your ear so that is the um, i2000 connecting feature so let me quickly uh, delete these off the uh, device so these are the i2000 which are going back in the case they both have a sound they don't actually have a voice chinese voicing connected they both have a sound similar to the original so we have the i3000s and i forgot to say that the i3000s are a little bit uh, heavier i'm pretty sure the similar weight um, than the original and the build quality is a little bit different a little bit better with the i3000 so the bluetooth let's just switch it back on and on, off and on so let's see how these connect so pop up the uh, case and hopefully you'll get a uh, not your airport which came up a little bit quicker and uh, let's hold the back button in so you get animation to say they are connected they connected really quick as well so the airpods have connected 100 percent charging and the uh, wireless charging case is 75 percent so now with these uh, when you pop up down the case there it goes so let's pop them back up and i'll show you what the differences are you'll get a three um, three window you don't get it now but when you actually take the airpod out you actually get it right there so the connecting feature is uh, different so let's put these both back in you get a three window once you put them into your ear as you can see right there you've got a picture of just the airpods that have been connected into your uh, uh, iphone and they don't have the picture of the wi uh, wireless charging case that's what the original ones do and that are the th they are the differences between the i2000s and the i3000s in connecting wise now, just before I tell you the percentage which I gave both of these AirPods for the audio and bass quality, the price. Now, the i2000s cost me £30 and the i3000s cost me £40. A uh, little bit price difference, of course, but you get a better quality with the i3000s. I purchased, purchased them from DHgate, so this video is not sponsored. So for all your people that are commenting, where do I actually purchase and how much were these? The i2000s were... 30 pounds the i3000s were 40 pounds so what i gave the o a percentage for both of these for the audio and bass now in my review video i said the i2000s were around 95 percent in audio and bass uh, the i3000s are much better in audio and bass quality i actually gave it a 98 percent i think plus 
so uh, they are a little bit better much more clearer nice and uh, loud as well with the i3000 the i2000 are okay better than the previous ones when i did the i800 and the i1000 so you can take a look at that video as they are really poor generation one super copy airpods these are the two ones that you actually want if you want to pay a cheaper price for the generation two super copies then i would say get the i2000 but if you want a really decent copy uh, which has the same pop up feature uh, a new animation of the originals then the i3000 will be the one for you anyways people that is a comparison between both of these airpods let me know in the comment section below what you think of these uh, the i3000 is the one i like as they have the same animation as the originals and uh, they have a better audio and bass quality and also no text which i actually like on the charging case and the airpods as well so these are the ones i would use myself let me know in the comment section below which one you use not only with just these with all the other previous airpods i've done in the past if you want to see any other comparisons in the on airpods let me know in the comment section below i will be getting the original ones as well the generation 2 original so i'll do a uh, comparison between them as well and hopefully the next comparison will be the i3000 versus the most expensive um, fake super copy airpods that i've done previously on uh, all sorts as well so stay tuned for that thank you for watching this video guys and i'll see you again for another video really long it was quite fast to be honest not your airpod it's got the latest connecting feature where you hold the back button to connect uh, to your iPhone so you got the animation straight away people check that out uh, so you've got an original uh, battery